Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all my pickups for the month of June, so stay tuned. So the month of June was a pretty slow month as far as releases are concerned. Um, it did start out pretty busy, um, but as the weeks progressed, it did slow down a lot, which was nice to get a break. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few items that I picked up. So some of the 4K releases I got, I did pick up Arizona. Um, I got this one from Walmart because it was a really good price. Um, I believe it was below $10 if I'm not mistaken. And the same way with Galveston. Um, I got this one for probably, I, I know it was under $10. I'm not exactly sure what the price was. Um, but I did upgrade my Blu-rays to um, 4K on those. I did get We Summon the Darkness, which I haven't had a chance to see yet. Really nice slipcover. The Hunt, which I have not seen yet. I've heard some good things about it, um, and I've heard some bad things about it, so I am looking forward to checking that one out for myself. And then from um, Amazon, I got Dolmite and The Human Tornado. I've been reading about these two. I've been wanting, wanting them for a while, and I finally just went ahead and got these. Um, really nice. I did get um, Burning. I got uh, the Paramount Presents release for Pretty in Pink. First time on Blu-ray, which is nice to have. And I got Urban Cowboy, a really good movie. From eBay, I picked up Copland. Um, me and me and my wife watched this one. We really enjoyed this one. This is a really good movie. Had never seen it, and someone recommended that I check this out, and so I did. So very happy to have this one. Um, also got U.S. Marshals from a recommendation. Haven't had a chance to watch this one yet, um, so I look forward to checking that one out. From Shout Factory, I got Witches in the Woods. And I also got this one for the G Kits release. Not exactly sure how to pronounce that, so I'm just not even going to try. I did get Mary Shelley and Tokyo Godfathers. Some still book releases that I got I got Watchmen. Um, this is the um, HBO limited release. Not sure if it's going to get any other seasons, but I did want to get the still book for that one. Of course, I got the Friday the 13th still book for the 40th anniversary. Really nice looking still book. Very happy to have that one. I got the um, Flash Gordon still book for the 40th anniversary. Still need to check that one out. I got Braveheart um, 25th anniversary 4K still book. Really nice looking artwork on this one. And I also got Gladiator, the 20th anniversary still book. And I also picked up the Apollo 13th um, for, um, 25th anniversary still book. I did watch this one for the first time. Really enjoyed this movie. Um, very nice to have this one on a still book. Okay, some of the TV shows I got. I got Star Trek um, Short Tracks on Blu-ray. Didn't even know about this particular um, release. Um, never even heard of this. But apparently I think it's an anthology with different um, episodes. So I do enjoy um, these types of um, series. So I'm very happy to have this one. And also I got a really good deal from Best Buy for um, Happy Days. Um, the complete season 1 through 6 with the um, slip. Got this one, I want to say around eight dollar, around the $8 mark. Um, I know it was under $10, but I forget, I forget exactly how much I pay for this, but very nice to have this one. It would be really good to be able to get the rest of the series um, on DVD and maybe eventually on Blu-ray. So lastly, I've got the um, Columbia Classics 4K Ultra HD Collection Volume 1. It is still sealed up. I haven't, I haven't opened it yet. I'm kind of hoping that there will be a price drop on it to where um, maybe I can get a, um, a price match or something on it. So I've been holding off on um, opening that one up. So as you can see, that was a pretty light month compared to the previous months, but I am happy with the ones that I did get. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you were able to pick up in the month of June. Um, let me know what you think about these pickups that I got. 
um, maybe even some suggestions of what you think I should check out um, as far as what I need to watch here in the um, coming weeks. I really do enjoy reading your comments and I really do enjoy your recommendations. Now if you're interested in seeing what I've watched recently, you can check out my Letterboxd account. I'm going to put a link below so that you can check that out. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you saw here, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. So you can find me there, and we will see you next time.